All right, guys, just got up. It is Saturday, heading out to go hunt, so hoping for a good morning. But first things first, cold one, cold rock star. Oh, so good. Oh, they don't sponsor any hunters, but maybe I could be the first one. We'll see. So I'm settled in my spot. I've been here for maybe about a half hour. 6.50 right now. Haven't seen any deer yet, but I'm feeling pretty good. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, had that spy, or fork and horn come to about 35 yards yesterday. So let's just hope the big boy comes through today. I'm excited. Like I said, it's an awesome day. And we will see. Beautiful out. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, guys. So got a location on the big buck and a smaller fork at horn. So basically, I'm making good time. I'm trying to get in a better position to hopefully get within range and put a, a move on this guy so i'm moving right now and uh, we'll see what happens all right guys so i'm back in my spot um i just was about 60 around 60 yards away from three bucks and one doe they were grunting and bleating like crazy and uh, i could have for sure got a fork at orange was standing broadside for a long time um, there was a small three by three and two small fork and horns. Actually, one of the forks was decent uh, and then a doe. So it was awesome. I mean, could have could have punched my tag today. I thought the big buck was in there, but he wasn't the one I'm after. So anyways, I'm back in my spot and uh, a lot of actions happening. So we'll see what happens. All right. So just check cameras at all my spots. I have one, one more camera left to check, but I've checked pretty much all my spots and basically only seeing does and immature bucks, but one of my spots does have two mature bucks. So as of right now, that's where I'm going to focus my energy and, you know, hopefully we're able to put it together if we keep spending time in the field. So See what happens and we'll keep you guys updated. All right, back in the spot right now. It's 4.31 p.m. Um, feeling pretty good, excited for this evening. I cleaned a nice little lane right through here. So um, I often will bring loppers so I could you know, tweak little bushes and stuff to make my setup better. So feeling pretty good and ready for a solid evening in the field. All right, guys, so been sitting for about an hour and a half and I get a call from my dad and he said he got the big buck so couldn't be more pumped for him that's so awesome so he says it was a pretty good hit so I told him he's gonna stay put I met in his way and uh, let's go find this big guy freaking pumped so awesome Catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, tell us what happened. I was sitting here, and I just had gone out and got a chip from the camera. I came back, settled in, got my arrow knocked, and my bow leaned up here, and I was looking out there. It's about 100 yards, 150 yards. It's right time in the evening. I see a rack coming up out of the drainage, just like I had anticipated they might do. And, and I'm going, holy smokes. And it's a little noisy here, so I said, I'm going to stand up with my bow. I've got the tree as a backdrop, and I'll get rid of all this noise. And I'm standing here silent with the bow right in front of my face. And I see him the rack started walking up towards me. And then it was right then, I think 30 yards ahead, he's going the wrong way. And it looked like he got nervous, but I could see his rack turning in the brush. He's only 30 yards away, but he couldn't, you know, shoot his body. It's in the brush. And sure enough, he came right out here in this clearing yards and was walking and the mistake I made is I didn't I didn't bleat or anything to try to stop him honest truth is I was spooked but I was in a full draw and I had the circle on circle I had the 25 yard pin 
a 20 yard pin on him and I let her rip and he was walking and I think I hit him just a little late but uh, he went barreling off that way and I think as I saw him going I think I saw some blood spurting and it's a rage so I'm pretty sure pretty sure the rage did its job good job buddy let's go find him huh well let's go good job Alright, Tove, what are you seeing? Guys, we've been hunting this deer for about a week straight. Look at this. Look. Beautiful. Look at guys, for a San Diego deer, this is an absolute trophy. Awesome. There he is. Well, it wasn't it wasn't the easiest track job, but yep, James it goes to show you can't give up. Can't give up. You gotta can't stay on it. We're looking, looking, looking. Hands and knees literally move an inch by inch. Little bitty spot. Finally, way back, only 40 yards back there, we find the arrow. And it's still pretty good from here to here. Tip must still be in them. So it didn't exit. That's what made it so difficult. It didn't exit. But here it is. Here's my deer. James and Great did a job, lot of buddy. planning. And a lot of work. Yeah, I mean, we... He's got rigor, a little bit of rigor because he's been here so long. Yeah, we actually got him in the evening, so we left him overnight. But here he is. He smells a little right He's now. a beauty, He's guys. Pretty. Let me see if I can pull back. Look at, look at that, look at that, guys. Look at this, guys. Absolute beautiful Southern California deer. Good job, buddy. Wow. Thanks, James. Absolutely. Congratulations on our, our joint effort. Yeah. So give, give me a little uh, recap, quick recap. Well, last night I was sitting a spot and we knew they like to hike up out of these, we knew they lived in these sycamores and so on. We, and we set a good spot up for me and a good spot up for James. And James was seeing all the bucks. And uh, I had seen one at a distance the day before, but this dude, about whatever, 4.30 in the afternoon, started coming up and he came right by my stand. And this is the deer we were after, guys. 25 yards. Yep. 25 yards and I put it in this side over here and it didn't exit. Didn't exit. And you did a great job, buddy. And it, it's, it's exactly where I thought I hit him. Right on the last rib. Last rib, yeah. And so right a hair below, back. Right below the, the um, you know, the uh, back straps. So it, it definitely, last rib and it went in like this direction. So, but it must not have, anyway. It, he ran the normal amount of time you would if you were gut shot, and then and then he started moving along slower and slower. He opened up a lot he later on. He opened up, on. I think, once this arrow fell out. All right, Tove, say a prayer, buddy. Let's do it. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your awesome creation and your revelation of your strength and beauty and glory and majesty. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here and participate in it and harvest this deer and find the deer. We all prayed a lot that we would find this deer. Here he is. Thank you. It's a, he's a beauty. We're going to get him on ice quick. Yep. Amen. Amen. Look at this guy. <laughs> Sweet. Good job, sir. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Good job. All right, Dove, let me. what are you doing? Well, I'm just clearing out a spot here so we can uh, hook a gambrel up. We're going to do it the easy way in the garage. So, that's all. Yep. I want to show you guys, look how worn he is on his, and something, you can see this is scab, something, I don't know if this was a buck or a stick, something cut him. And then, if you look at these hooves, 
This is a sign of a real old deer, how they're really pointy and curve up. It just shows he's not really moving as much as he did when he was, you wouldn't see this on a young deer. And then he's got this curved nose. So I believe this is a buck we were hunting last year. He was broke off right here. And he was actually a three by three last year, but I think this is him. I'm not sure. You can see he's got some battle wounds. He's got a split ear. So this guy's definitely got some age. Got some gray, and then his knee here is all, all busted up. He's got another scab here. So beautiful buck. This is a perfect buck to take out of the herd. We got a you know fair amount of young bucks that we've been working on, and uh, to take a guy like this kind of near the end of the road is uh, is cherry. So we're pumped. We got some work to do, but we'll get it done. How's the job going, sir? Good. To me, it's surprisingly cooler than I thought it would be. Yeah, it looks good too. Nice color. It's an old deer, that's for sure. Yeah. So basically, yeah, he's hanging him up from Gambrel. This is my favorite way to do it if you are able to. And he's just going to skin him all the way down. And then we'll take front legs, back straps, rear legs, and then, uh, you know, neck, all the other meat. But uh, that's kind of the order we go about it. So it's going smooth. We're going to get him packed up. And uh, find some room in here <laughs> and uh, get them going. Okay, so the deer <clears throat> got the front quarters off. Extra, look at this entrance room. A little high, tad back, but pretty good shot for the most part. Taking off these front quarters, then we're going to do back strap, hind legs, and then pick apart the neck and all this meat in here. So we're getting there. Here's the head. I'm caping this head. Got it tagged. And I'm going to, we're going to European mount this head, um, which we do ourselves. So that will be pretty cool. And I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, so we got the whole deer quartered up. Got both hind legs, both back straps. And then we got both uh, front quarters in the freezer. So we're in good shape. Uh, I think we might try to pack this guy up and label him up today. So we're going to get going and uh, things are going smooth. <laughs>